Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Tuesday morning call at Mortgage Coach. I'm Dave Savage, the CEO of Mortgage Coach, and if you haven't already, please connect with us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and hopefully you're going to our YouTube page to get the recordings of these videos. Every Tuesday, I am interviewing, um, sometimes it's an author or a speaker. I'm actually interviewing Dave Ramsey this week, uh, but I try to make it so at least 60% of the time, I'm interviewing someone who is a top producer someone that's doing things right in the market. And today we have Kelly Zitlow joining us. Kelly, thanks for making time to provide some leadership on today's call. Absolutely, my pleasure, Dave. Good, well I've been trying to get Kelly using Mortgage Coach for a long time, so while she has been a long time loan officer, you're gonna hear her story more in a few minutes, uh, she's fairly new to using Mortgage Coach, but we're gonna focus on why she has now said it's time to make it part of my process and part of my habits, and we're gonna talk about how she's been using video in the past and how she plans to use it going forward. So, uh, Kelly, I'm gonna do a few updates but and bring you into the conversation, but feel free to jump in if you wanna add anything before uh, our formal interview. Sound good? Okay, sounds good. Good, so I, I wanna remind everybody that this Thursday, nine o'clock Pacific, I'll be interviewing Dave Ramsey. My goal in this interview is to, to just get, to bring great stories around how loan officers help families. Uh, I was inspired, Kelly and I were both inspired by uh, an article in Chrisman over the weekend. But I wanna, I wanna make sure everybody is just pushing the envelope in terms of how we're delivering education and how we're teaching families around mortgages, around debt. Uh, so I wanna remind everybody about that. Also, I wanna put an announcement that I, I was able to get Richard Horn as our guest on September 9th. Uh, Richard is a, an attorney today, but a year ago he was the senior consultant with TRID, excuse me, with the CFPB, and he was the guy that managed and ran the TRID project. So there's nothing about TRID that he doesn't have an answer for. I even, when we were prepping for our call, was asking him, you know, like, whose idea was TIP? You know, explain that one to me. And he's got the real story about it. Uh, he also was the one that conducted all of the panels of families and borrowers, you know, as they were developing TRID, this guy has first-hand knowledge. So he's gonna, we're gonna be interviewing him on the 9th, and I think that's gonna be helpful, because my goal with mortgage professionals and everybody who's on the mortgage coach team, I want you to have a competitive advantage against every other originator, and I want you to serve families like no other originator. So I think Richard's gonna be a great call to help drive that mission. Also, I wanted to remind everybody, last week I, I talked about My Nest, our newest app, to help families you know, make a better decision when shopping for homes. I wanna make sure if you email me, because I got overloaded with emails on this, so if you wanna know more information and you wanna get your company turned on with My Nest, email mynest at mortgagecoach.com and also use the referral code DAVE2015. So again, for anybody that missed that call, you can download My Nest, it's our newest innovation. It helps, think of it as like Pinterest for home buyers. So helping families with pictures walk out to a home, take a picture of it, organize their photo journey of a home as they go from room to room, taking pictures, making notes, uh, making it super simple to voice record, actual videos, pictures. It's, it's Mortgage Coach's vision on how we wanna make home shopping easier for families and do it in a way that integrates with the Mortgage Coach experience. So for for all those people that were emailing, emailing me at Dave at Mortgage Coach, please email me at mynest at Mortgage Coach and use the referral code DAVE2015. Uh, so, um, Kelly, it's game time, and you and I have been talking, I think, for years. I mean, ever, ever since I, I think I, I met you for the first time at a Cherry Creek sales rally. When I don't know if you got top producer, but you were one of the top producers, and you gave an amazing speech. Um, but I've, I've wanted you to be a mortgage coach ever since, and it's exciting to have you on the team now. Well, thanks, Dave. Um, so I'm a slow learner. I just want everybody to know that. So <laughs> I'm not fast to uh, incorporate when it comes to technology. Um, at least I haven't been. And uh, thank you so much for staying on me and um, showing me the way. And obviously, I've got some stories that also helped in that, um, me getting here and, and arriving to the mortgage coach community. So I'm happy to be here. I'm ready to kick it. All right. Well, 
for those of you who don't know Kelly, and she's got a great mortgage practice. But Kelly, why don't you just share real quick, you know, what market are you in? Explain a little bit about how you serve families, what kind of production you're doing, and then we'll get a little more into the detail around, you know, your mission as a teacher and educator. Sure. So I have been lending for over 19 years. Um, I am in Scottsdale, Arizona, so I lend throughout the entire state of Arizona. I'm not licensed in any other state, so Arizona is my hometown. I grew up here, graduated from Arizona State University, go Sun Devils, and <laughs> uh, have been focused really my whole career here in the Valley of the Sun. And, I, and what, how many families are you serving a month? You know, just a, a little bit idea on your production. Yeah, uh, roughly 20 to 30 families per month, and, uh, you know, things are going well. I'm very excited about this market in particular. As you all know, Arizona had some struggles a few years ago, and uh, we've made it through. Our market is back with a vengeance, and it's time to really make sure we're focusing on the community and doing it right this time, and a lot of that starts with education. Right, so, so you're serving 20 to 30 families a month. You know that are you're helping either refinance or purchase a home. Most of your business coming from re realtors, and if you could just give us a little breakdown on purchase versus refi, realtors, and then if you do have other referral type partners, if you could just share a little bit on that. Sure. So um, my business is 70% purchase, 30% refinance. Out of that 70%, 65% of that comes from the real estate community. That is my main focal point when it comes to prospecting and relationships. I love working with realtors. I believe that um, that relationship between a great escrow officer, realtor, and lender is the absolute win for the consumer. So um, that's really where my focus is on the purchase side. And then certainly on uh, the remaining portion of my business, I focus heavily on past customers, just making sure that we're serving them and always there for them as they decide to either buy, sell, or refinance. Great. And then it's uh, an idea. You may not know the exact number, but how many how many realtors refer you business, you know, annually? Like, what's the the number of real estate relationships that you're managing? And if there was your top realtors, you know, how many how many referrals are they giving you? However you measure it, monthly or annually. I just want to get a feel for that. Yeah. So um, we receive referrals from roughly 80 realtors on average. Um, that those are repeat referrals. And from there, I would tell you the whole 80-20 rule still applies. So out of those 80, about 20% of those are really going to be our solid referral sources. Um, we're di digging deep with them and, and really making sure that they're educated, especially as we approach TRID. Uh, there's so much fear out there, so I spent a lot of time over the last 120 days uh, teaching a CE class on TRID and, and just really making sure that those relationships are solid. There's no reason to be fearful as we embark on October. Yeah, no, no doubt. So, so folks, I mean, hopefully everybody's got a real feel that, that Kelly has a very efficient mortgage practice, a very successful mortgage practice. And I, I think what makes her special, there's a lot of things that make her special, but her passion for being an educator and a teacher. So, you know, I, I interviewed Simon Sinek a few weeks ago. By the way, that video now, if you didn't, if you weren't on that call, I, I can't emphasize enough, recommend that you listen to the recording. It's we haven't even promoted it much, and it's already been watched over 2,000 times. So again, if you didn't, if you weren't part of that interview, check it out. But Kelly, I know you listened to it, and in the spirit of your why, um, we'll get to your mortgage coach why in a minute. But I'd like to know, just as a mortgage professional and someone who really has the heart of a teacher, you know, what what is your why, and how did you get to where you're at today? You know, where you really have this mortgage practice that's driven by education. It's a great question, Dave, and as I was preparing for this call, I really started to realize that my career has kind of been broken into two different segments. So I would say the first half from 1996 up until 2007, and then the most recent half from 2007 to uh, current time. And I'll, I'm going to say that because really prior to the market crashing here in Arizona, um, and remember, Arizona was one of the top three to four states that led the country in foreclosures, short sales. I mean, it was not, not a good time. So prior to that 2008 mark, if you will, um, 
how we approached mortgages, while I still have a heart for education and still felt like I was giving everything I could to the client, it was really more of a navigation of the loan product as opposed to the education of what we do today. So in 2008, when the market really did fall out from underneath us, I started to realize, oh my gosh, not only were we going back to some of the basics, so FHA, VA, full income qualification, that type of thing, but the real estate community in particular was scared to death. I mean, they had no idea what was available, what you know, their clients, if they had buyers, what kind of loans were out there, what were we doing with mortgage insurance, max loan amounts with FHA, all that kind of stuff. So really just kind of the light bulb went off in my head and I started to go deep and say, gosh, what? why am I here? How are we going to get through this? And that why truly was I got to focus on my community, I've got to start educating and really making sure that we're all going through this together. And I have found that really having knowledge helps even in tough times. So that was the why. Got it. So you, you know, you, that was your journey. Now when you think of being an app taker, prequal, you know, I, I call it a loan officer versus what you are, you know, what's the difference? And then maybe you could just, you know, tell some stories of some families that you help that would really showcase, you know, how you're doing business versus how typical loan officers are doing business. Yeah. So when a, a call is coming in, I mean, really the, the initial part after taking the application is, and even during that application is, I really want to know what are their goals? Where do they want to go? Is their goal to be debt free? Is their goal to live in this house for five years? I mean, really kind of what's going on in their life? And once I better understand that, then I can certainly uh, prepare a financial strategy that best serves them as opposed to a one-stop shopping or, or one-size-fits-all type of loan. So we definitely engage with them, um, our clients, a lot and really try to understand where they're going and uh, what's important to them. Um, with regard to the client themselves, as we all know, lending today is much more involved <laughs> than it ever has been. So. You know, while we may have a client that wants to do, you know, a particular type of program, that program may not be available to them. So really, on my team, we do our best to dig deep, not only into their wants and needs, but into their particular file, their scenario. Um, we're really discerning up front what are their options, and then setting the course of the transaction based on, again, goals and then what they can qualify for. Got it. Now. You know, when I think you know, just looking at your website, you know, kellyzitlow.com, looking at all the content you have, I mean, it's clear that you are an educator, you are a teacher. Why don't you, you know, I mean, if there's something on your website you want to call out to mortgage coach members that you think would be valuable, that's great. I'd love to know because you are so system driven, so process driven. If you could just describe your process from a high level. And by the way, folks, you know, we've got a lot of you on this call. If anybody has a question for Kelly, feel free to submit that through the questions uh, within the GoToMeeting. I will look at those and try to bring those into the conversation and maybe even unmute someone at some point in the conversation. So feel free to ask questions of Kelly. But Kelly, if you wouldn't mind going through that, that would be great. Sure. So as the call comes in, um, it is immediately directed to one of my pre-qualification specialists. So that's somebody that is going to uh, talk with the client up front, take the loan application, pull credit, and then set them up to, for me to have that high trust call uh, and or application face-to-face. -face. So um, they're just taking down all the basic information, we're gathering some intel on the particulars, and then I really get into it and start strategizing on, you know, well they have you know, a loss on their Schedule C and this and that and that type of stuff. So then I'm really able to articulate the strategy once um, we know more about them. So that, that was a shift that I made um, over the last year or two and, and really it's been very helpful because then by the time I get it, it's all kind of put together and then we're really getting deep into the strategy which is the part that I love the most. Right. Now, now again, you're, you're new to Mortgage Coach. You know, prior to Mortgage Coach you had a way that you were delivering strategy, a way that you were delivering options. You know, why don't you describe that, and then within that, describe 
why 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 mortgage coach why now because obviously we we've, we've been trying to get you to use mortgage coach for years um, it wasn't us it was you just from your perspective you came to a conclusion where you thought it's time to integrate this into my work process so describe what you were doing and then kind of describe what you are doing and why sure so I was doing the old-fashioned traditional sending out the fee worksheet out of our um, LOS system so that together was you know a very detailed type of email and then a follow-up phone call um, for anybody that's actually seen one of those um, fee worksheets you know through whatever the LOS system they're all pretty much the same that is not an easy document for somebody not in our business to you know navigate through so um, but that's what I was doing and I'm embarrassed to say it took me a while to get here but sometimes in our business uh, things happen and um, it's kind of like a jolt and that's kind of what happened with me which really made me decide I'm implementing Mortgage Coach and my entire team is implementing Mortgage Coach and we are going to get this done. I'm tired of talking about it. So that one uh, particular occurrence uh, happened a couple months ago and uh, it was one of my better agents. I adore him, just love him to death. And we had sent out our old-fashioned you know, fee worksheet to a client. Well, his client had also went and um, spoke to another lender and my realtor had referred sent us both presentations. So the other lender's presentation together with our old-fashioned fee worksheet. And I have to tell you, I, mean, I was embarrassed. I was just like, oh my gosh, because uh, that presentation was very similar to Mortgage Coach. I mean, it was well laid out. It was graphic. It was educational. And um, obviously, you know, that lender won. And my realtor was so great. He's just, you know, Kelly, I adore you and you guys are awesome but have you considered and I was just like rolling my eyes hearing Dave Savage in my head you know <laughs> and uh, I was like oh gosh okay well you know sometimes uh, the good Lord leads us where we need to go and so uh, that was really the turning point I was became committed and said I'm gonna do this and I will tell you guys it's not easy I mean this is not like you just turn on the switch it is going to take time. You do need to invest in really going through those cost worksheets, getting your templates set up. But really, once you're in there, it gets easier every day. So. Right. Well, that's. I'm glad that you're you're on Mortgage Coach. You're committed to using it. Uh, you know, I I've heard a story like this so often lately. And in terms of the adoption of Mortgage Coach, where people are, you know, they're they're not just going from casual users and using it to win a deal. They're using it to deliver it for every family. It's going through the moon. And I think a lot of it has to do with real estate agents pushing loan officers. And we all know with TRID coming, uh, there's going to be a whole new level of you know, requirement in how we communicate and manage expectations between the borrower and the realtor. So, so you know, I, by the way, I did create a video uh, about a week ago. We just published it on YouTube. We're calling it How to Be the Obvious Choice with Realtors. Uh, it's only two minutes and 36 seconds. I did put a link in that in chat, and I do urge you know every mortgage coach to watch that. It's an inspirational message around, at least from my perspective, there's there's a good logical reason why every family should get a total cost analysis, and then there's also an emotional reason. And I, I don't know, Kelly, you tell me now that you have created, you know, again, I think you're so new. I don't want to go as far as say you created this habit. But you've delivered mortgage coach to families. You've talked about it to realtors. You know, does it does it feel better? I mean, how how are you getting value from it, and how does it feel so far? Well, a couple things on that. I mean, I feel better about it because this is fitting with my vision, and my vision is to provide an honest, well communicated, knowledge based lending experience. That has been my vision for many many years, and so mortgage coach really fits into that. So I feel better about it. But two, the thing I love about Mortgage Coach is I get to do these little videos, which allows me to connect with my client on a different level. And even though I don't you know, go too deep into that video, it's really just kind of an overview. But it just, again, gives them that connection, gives me that connection, and allows me just to say things that really sets them up for reviewing that total cost analysis. And so I'm so excited about that. I'm getting great feedback on it, and it just makes me want to use it more. 
Hey, by the way, if you wouldn't mind repeating that, you said something, and the way you said it, it was one clear, but I want to deliver an honest, knowledge-based. What was, what was that vision and mission that you just laid out? I want to just hear that one more time. My vision, my mission is to provide an honest, well-communicated, knowledge-based learning experience. So that, that's what I do at the end of the day. And uh, that's what we're shooting for, my entire team, as we come together and we evaluate our gaps and our successes. And you know, we always are going back to that vision. Are we doing this? How I can we do it. this better? I love it. My mission is delivering an honest, well-communicated, knowledge-based lending experience. Boom. That's solid. <laughs> now, now executing on that with each and every family uh, you know, it's you know easier said than done, but you're obviously working hard to do that. Well, let's let's walk everybody. You you went through and you made a mortgage coach experience. I had asked you to create just an example of one, and I am going to pull that up real quick. Um, if you could just you know, wh why did you pick this? You know, walk us through this uh, this this mortgage coach experience. You know, what was what was it about this scenario? Why did you pick these options? Walk us through it if you could. Yeah, so I had a client who uh, was purchasing in kind of that eight hundred to nine hundred thousand dollar price range, and um, he was evaluating a few different loan programs. So it was a perfect opportunity to use Mortgage Coach and a total cost analysis. So this one was a jumbo um, loan, twenty percent down on a thirty year, a seven one arm, and a ten one arm, and I just kind of threw it in there and did a quick video and. You know, he just responded like, wow, um, because I knew he was shopping, as that demographic often does. Um, and, and so it was, you know, a, a really great kind of just reinforcement of, okay, we're on the right track here. We are serving people the way that I want to, you know, serve them. So, and giving them that information as well as just that connection with the video is key. So, so I, by the way, I'm looking at the total payments. I have them on the screen. I don't know if you see it. I noticed that you you picked for the seven year and the five year uh, a, pay, a reduction in payment. If you just walk us through from a strategy perspective, what were you what were you presenting to the client, and did you ask him some questions first before you presented that? I just want to make sure everybody understands one what you did and two how you delivered this to the family. Sure. So this particular client did not think they were going to be in the house longer than seven years. So the seven year arm was kind of the uh, pivotal point, but they really had not explored an arm prior to um, this discussion. So, you know, we really started to evaluate the difference in the interest rate between the fixed rate, that 7-1 and the 10-1, and um, discussed, you know, what somebody could do with the savings as compared to the 30-year fixed rate with regard to additional principal reduction. And so that was really the angle of the conversation. And did the client appreciate that? I mean, is that oh, something yeah. that they... They like yeah, so, exactly. so just a couple things to focus on, everybody. You know, if you haven't already done this, make sure you pick up your mobile device. Make sure that you can click on summary. You know, zoom into options. You know, go to a graph quickly and show so you can show. Hey, here's the numbers. Here's the details. Now, you know, the requirement that's going to be on everybody's list, most the way most loan officers deliver the cost over 60 months, is you know it's going to be on a fee worksheet. It's not going to be awesome. As a mortgage coach, you can start doing this with every family on a mobile device. So you want to make sure you're educating your realtors about what you're doing to get ahead of things and what you're doing to improve how you communicate with families and how they're in the loop. I do want to remind everybody, best way to share it is you click on the, the personal information, pulls up Kelly's business card, and then there's a click a button right there, share report. You know, make sure that when you're meeting with realtors, that you're you're sharing this with them. So literally as you walk away, they have that scenario on their mobile device and you educated them. So you can easily just, you know, click either text, SMS, text it, or email it to the realtor or to the family. Also make sure that you're encouraging your clients um, to, to share this. By the way, Kelly, what percentage of your clients um, come into your office? You know, what percentage over the phone versus come into your office? Uh, I would say about 40% come into the office. The other 60% um, we utilize DocuSign and the phone. Got it. And 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 so as a reminder, when people come to your office, while you're giving them a desktop, you know, desktop live office experience, 
make sure you forward them the link, have them download the app, have them make sure they know how to use it while you're in that meeting. So, so Kelly, now again, I know you're new to Mortgage Coach, but I know you, you've done a lot when it comes to video. We're going to talk about you know, all the things you've done is to use video as an educational tool. But why don't we start with you know, how are you planning to use Mortgage Coach video um, as, it, as you bring it to market and as you implement it into your process? What's your vision? Well, the initial vision and kind of some of my baby steps into uh, Mortgage Coach and, and rolling it out is to send a video with every total cost analysis that we're sending. So that's the initial discipline. And then from there, Mortgage Coach just has so many different options that I'm excited about. So the you know financing flyers for open houses, et cetera. But for now, the commitment is to be sure that we're sending a video with every total cost analysis. Cool. So, so everybody, I, a couple things I just want to drive from an educational standpoint. No doubt, giving the video delivers tremendous. You know, when it comes to call it knowledge based, uh, what, what, what was the word you said where they clearly understand it? I'm trying to remember your quote. It was a uh, oh, well communicated knowledge based lending experience. So, when it comes to delivering that well communicated, is there a better way to well communicate that than sending them a link and then adding a video? So I did want to draw some attention around the ability for you to record that video from your mobile device. You'll notice I already have a video on this particular one. So I could click, you know, replace the video. Because what we're finding more and more, especially with TRID coming, is you'll want to deliver the options, TBD, before the home's in escrow. And then you may want to update that video multiple times throughout the process of the loan. In fact, you know, a lot of mortgage coaches, and I would love it, if you would weigh in and tell me whether you're doing this now, you know this is a typical playbook for a mortgage coach uh, in today's market, where they're bring, you're creating the video, the TCA TBD. Once it gets put into escrow, they're updating the video, and then they're between you know the time that the loan closes, between preparing the loan for closing, making sure that the family's well communicated and they understand their options. It's not uncommon that the mortgage coach video would be updated a couple times and that the numbers might be updated. And then we're seeing more and more mortgage coaches after the loan closes, you know, the way Kelly did, change the numbers so you can show, hey, what if you paid an extra hundred or two hundred dollars and you prepaid your mortgage? Look how much faster you could pay off your MI and look how much faster you could build up your equity so that you're positioned for that move up home in five years. And then, of course, to continue to manage the mortgage over time. Kelly, what's your vision, you know, from a mortgage coach standpoint? You know, where where do you plan to update the video? You know, what do you you know what are you planning to do from just a workflow and customer experience standpoint? Well, I think with for now that closing disclosure is going to be a, a critical part of the future for us. So I envision an updated mortgage coach at the closing disclosure. Um, segment when that is being sent out. And then I love this annual review mortgage coach uh, video and just an update uh, for my past clients. So those are the two future implementation points that I am uh, striving for with mortgage coach. Okay, great. So again, rem remember everybody, please record, uh, make that a homework assignment today. Use the mobile app, whether you're adding a video for the first time to a TCA or whether you're updating the video on that TCA. Make that an action today. Also want to remind everybody that every Wednesday now we're doing this mobile conversations. So at 11 o'clock Pacific, we are just dedicated. You know, we're trying to build it so that the knowledge itself and the training is 30 minutes, although we've done it a few times and it's been 40. Uh, but we're going through 10 mortgage coach use cases, ranging from how would you use Rate Watch, you know, to have a conversation with a realtor to how do you create a video. Anyways, we've got 10 strategies that we're teaching. So I urge everybody to join us on Wednesday. If you want to go to the next step at using all the mobile features within Mortgage Coach, join us every Wednesday at 11 o'clock, and we'll teach you how to do that. Uh, Kelly, any chance you can join one of those calls in the next couple weeks? Absolutely. I've got a lot to learn, Dave. <laughs> and by the way, you've been a great student. You know, I. Uh, I, I kind of just showed up when um, we were doing a live branch training with Kelly's team, and I had a, a couple meetings. I don't think Kelly even knew I was showing up, but uh, I mean, she was there as a leader, 
wasn't multitasking, wasn't like, you know, checking email while she was learning. You were just, you know, what was it, two or three hour class and you were you were leading the charge on learning how to use Mortgage Coach. So kudos to you and I can't wait to hear how your story evolves with Mortgage Coach. So, um, so anything else you want to share on a Mortgage Coach perspective? I want to transition and talk a little bit about how you've been creating videos you know, prior to Mortgage Coach and how you're using those to educate. But anything else you think is important for us to, to share with Mortgage Coach members? I honestly think the only other thing I really want to emphasize here is incorporate the discipline and spend some time on it, even if it's just 15 minutes every day, um, you know, just trying to get through that initial total cost analysis, really getting those uh, cost templates set up because that was so helpful. Um, you really can push through it. It feels like it's going to be very, like, I don't have time for that, right? That's what the initial objection is. And in the end, it is such a time saver. You just need to do a little bit of the work. So I would just say stay disciplined and push through it. Right on. So, hey, I've got a couple of questions. I want to make sure we get to some of these. So a few people have asked how do they sign up for the Wednesday course. Um, Marcy, if you don't mind, let's put that in chat. And also you can go to our support page. And if you can't, you don't see the link in chat, you can't find it on support, just email support at mortgagecoach.com and we'll answer that. Um, Chris asked, does the old video stored um, get deleted? And the answer is yes. If you record over your video, the old video is gone, the new video is there. Um, uh, how do I over record? Anyways, click on the button, it's pretty self-explanatory. If, if there's already a video there, a different set of buttons will come up. So, you know, go through the app, click on that. If you do have issues, show up to our, our um, Wednesday mobile class and we'll walk you through that experience. And you can always email support at mortgagecoach.com. Um, by the way, Mike Durr just asked how many people on your team, Kelly? How many people are on my team? Yeah. Um, I have four people on my team plus, plus a processor. Okay. So there you go, Mike. Uh, and by the way, folks, we will have some time for some more questions. So feel free, um, here came, another one just came in. So is it one video per customer or one video for all your customers? So for the, by the way, for that question, I really urge you to show up to either our Thursday training or um, we will cover that. But for the most part, you're making, think of it as a video memo. The same thing that you're saying on a voicemail or when you're netting out the options for the family, it's one video, one family, which by the way is a great transition Although I'm going to do one more question before we do that transition because Lisa just jumped in. Do you have scripts or instructions to let people know how to upload the app? And yeah, Lisa, we do. Why don't you email support at mortgagecoach.com? And Marcy, if you could, any anything that answers to Lisa's question, um, if you could put that in chat, that would be fantastic. But uh, uh, for those of you that you know have that that concept, there are videos that are that are not just made for one family. And Kelly's been making videos like that for a long time. In fact, I, I, you know, I interview a lot of top perform, performing loan officers. I study top performing loan officers. I have not seen anybody with a better YouTube page than Kelly Zitlow. Uh, so I, I'm sure there's someone out there. And by the way, if you know someone that, that rivals Kelly, and I do know loan officers have been very intentional and have some amazing videos. And I, I, I hate to ever say, like, this is the best because, you know, I'll just say it's it's a one percenter. There's other one percenters, but this is one of the best one percent YouTube pages from a mortgage professional in America. So Kelly, why don't you share you know a little bit about what we're looking at here on my desk, and then you know why you did that, and and how it's delivering value you know given your mission to uh, deliver an honest, well communicated, knowledge based lending experience. Uh, sure, Dave. So really, it started about three years ago, and um, I had put it on my uh, goal to really start to incorporate video because it was just another way that I could articulate the mission and the vision of really providing that educational uh, part of what I do. And it was really directed initially to the real estate community. So. Stuff is changing so fast in our business, whether that is guidelines, whether that is, you know, um, FHA dropping the loan limit in Maricopa County, wh whatever is going on, 
outside of just sending an email blast out, I really started to envision that incorporating video to that would be helpful. And as we all know, just by studying videos and the impact of videos and the internet, um, videos and, and the way that they connect with people is just eons above the same type of message in an email. So I started down the path of doing videos, like I said, about three years ago, and I will tell you, it was painful. I mean, the first video I did, it was horrible. I, I could not look at myself. <laughs> I, it was horrible. Um, and I just kept going back and kept trying and, and just really refining. And, and finally, I just told myself that you know I just needed to get over it and just go out, be authentic, share what I know, and that it would all work out. And that's really was kind of a big turning point because I think so many people get hung up on themselves when they're shooting videos. And you're going to fill that with mortgage codes too when you're doing that video. You're going to be, oh my gosh, you know, I look funny or I sound funny or did I say this or things like that. And, and really, if you speak from your heart, you know what you know, um, be authentic, be you, don't try to be somebody else, it really will be a very natural progression. So that's kind of how I got here. Now, if there were, you know, when you look at this page, there are so many videos. If there was one, you know, from a more, you know, I, I want to help mortgage coach loan officers deliver better value to families. But if there was one that people should watch that would just be a great example of you providing education, which one would you call out? You know, if a loan officer is going to watch one, which one? Oh, goodness. Well, I think since we're talking about TRID, let's focus on the TRID chart. Um, so that's in the this second row, right second here. one to the left. No, down, over to right the right, right there. Okay. Yeah. So that's part of, um, that was, that chart was put out by Alta and, you know, everybody has it. And I think that really that particular chart is going to be very helpful for realtors so they can also track the closing disclosure time requirement. So that was just a little tidbit on that. Great. You know, by the way, you know, just in the spirit of giving value, if I think we may have a link to this chart, but it, could you make sure you forward that over to us so that we can just make that available for the mortgage coach team? Absolutely. Yeah, and Marcy, if you have a, a link to that or you have something that you think would be valuable that you could just pull from our treasure chest of knowledge, you know, I would love to, you know, I'd love for every member on this call to, to watch this video and to be able to take a little bit of action on it of their on their own. Sound good? All right. So, uh, Kelly, you noticed my new slide that I just updated? My mission is to deliver an honest, <laughs> well-communicated, knowledge-based lending experience. Wow, Love Dave. Uh, maybe I could hire you for a marketing or branding type of role. What do you think, huh? <laughs> You're all over this. I love I, it. I, I, I've got a full-time <laughs> job and then some. Just really? Are you sure? Okay, well, if that doesn't work out, you can call me. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I could tell by being in your office it would be a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys, so feel free to add some questions. I will, when I'm not talking, I will put a link to that video that Kelly just recommended to everybody um, in here. Uh, you know, Kelly, you're, you're, on, you're online with a bunch of mortgage coaches, and, you know, while everybody on this call is not giving each and every family uh, their best experience, their best presentation, I would love for you, you know, Think of it as you're a sales manager right now, and you're talking to a bunch of loan officers, and some of them, you know, they're, you know how it is. Some loan officers, they give one family this experience, they give another one this experience, they got their A game, they got their B game, and they got their C game. And to get to your level, you're bringing your A game to every family. So if you could just provide some leadership around why, why give your A game to every family, and then let's talk about how, how to go from I'm barely closing five loans a month, and I'm kind of at that place. You know, think of yourself as a sales manager. You know, what do you say to a bunch of loan officers that are are bringing that different experience to every family? Well, I I think that one of the things that really is helpful with utilizing mortgage coach is it does set us apart from the others that aren't, and so. Out of the gate, just like my experience with the client that I lost, um, I'm really good. I mean, I, I feel very confident that I give and my team gives everything to every single one of our clients. And, and we try so hard, but out of the gate, we lost because our presentation was outdated. 
by using that old fee worksheet. And that was painful. So uh, from a, a leadership standpoint, I would just really encourage you to, sometimes it's difficult to change and to incorporate and to have the discipline to do that. But you can do it. And it's, it's vital right now as we uh, push forward into TRID and all of the additional time frame. And, and we're just going to see some interesting things happen. I'm confident that TRID is going to be just fine and we're all going to get through it and all that kind of stuff. But this is really going to be a time where we can uh, continue to educate and set ourselves apart from those that aren't doing that. So what about the, the how? You know, I mean, you, again, you've mentored loan officers. You've been involved in coaching programs. You've been to Sales Mastery. By the way, everybody, Kelly is going to be at Sales Mastery this year. Uh, so come see Kelly at Sales Mastery. You know, how, how? You know, if you're a loan officer that you're just not there, do you have any, any suggestions, you know, that would just give them kind of a roadmap to getting on the right track? Just have a checklist, and it just becomes part of your checklist. So, I mean, most of us do have some type of checklist that we're following to ensure that we're giving a consistent experience to our clients. And so just including the total cost analysis as one of the items that you have to check off is helpful. And again, really just having the discipline to do it. So maybe um, calendaring time to do it during the day. I think for us loan officers, time management is always one of those things that we're uh, working on. and and developing, so just maybe enter into your calendar uh, a half an hour or an hour or whatever that is for your total cost analysis pre preparation and presentation. So by the way, two, th two things you said, and by the way, Kelly, I don't want to put you on the spot, but if you do have any checklists that you'd be willing to share, you know, just one, um, it's always great to see how a pro, someone who's really process driven, uh, you know, provides checklists, so if you do have anything, please forward it over. By the way, if anybody on this call feels like you've got a great checklist that's helping you deliver that amazing experience and drive an efficient and effective workflow, please share that to me, Dave at MortgageCoach.com. The, you know, the entire month of, of September is going to be dedicated to helping prepare a mortgage coach for TRID. And, and part of that preparation is checklists and executing a consistent process. Because at the end of the day, we've got to make sure we're communicating better than ever, at least if we want to turn TRID into a competitive advantage. So please share the, any checklist that you're willing to share with me to Dave at MortgageCoach.com. And like I said, Kelly, anything you're willing to share, we'd be grateful. Uh, the, other, the other thought, you know, you said something about scheduling, scheduling time to do a TCA. If, you have, if you're on this call and you have not built the Mortgage Coach habit where every family is getting one, I would urge you, it's, it's really as simple as this. What is your why? You know, have a really clear, and by the way, this is Kelly's mortgage why. Have a mortgage coach why. You know, so Kelly, you know, you heard her talk. She, she knew it was a good idea. She was hit with pain. She knew TRID was coming, and it, it, aligned, it helped her execute on her mission better. So she got a, finally she got her why to be compelling enough, and now that's getting her through the pain of change. So, you know, what is your mortgage coach why? You know, write it down, get clear on it, and then create 20 mortgage coach reports as quickly as you possibly can. Because once you get to 20 where you've done it 20 times, you know, and, and sometimes if anybody listened to that call I did last year with Josh Metal, um, at number seven, he almost gave up. You know, by the time he had done it seven times, he was like, okay, I know how to do it, but it takes too long, and I don't know that I can keep going. You know, but, so, but he kept going, and somewhere between 7 and 15 is where he said, oh, you know, families love it, it's better, and I can do this efficiently and effectively now. So, so just time block to get past that 20 and, and do that pronto. So um, I want to remind everybody about our, our, our training this Wednesday, 11 o'clock Pacific. Uh, I don't think Kelly can make this Wednesday, but she's going to make one of the future ones. I want to remind everybody that we've got training every day of the week. So we've got Mortgage Coach University, where we're doing specific trainings, one in the morning, one in the evening. Every Monday, we are doing newbie training, so introduction to Mortgage Coach. If you've been through this, you don't necessarily want to do it again, but it's, if you're new to Mortgage Coach, start here. Every Tuesday, it's me and a guest. Every Wednesday is mobile conversations, and every Thursday is just Q&A. So if there are technical questions, that you have, that you want answers on, um, come to those calls and we'll deliver answers on those. So I, I did want to do a shout out to our team. 
We, up, we are in the process of updating our scripts. Uh, we have put, the, you know, there's two scripts. There's one that says Mortgage Coach Scripts, and then the other one that says Mortgage Coach Conversations. Uh, in the handout section, download those, and we, we want to provide leadership so that you, you have a great script of what to say to a borrower, you have a great script of what to say to a realtor, and then we also have great scripts that we're evolving on, on what to say to the realtor. And our team will have more of those. So by next, I would really say by this Wednesday's call, we'll probably have some new scripts. And between now and TRID, we want to arm you with scripts, with checklists, with training, so you can turn TRID into a, you know, a competitive advantage. So hey, Kelly, we're, we're getting into kind of wrap-up mode. I'm going to look for some questions from the audience. But uh, any, anything you want to share, just knowing that you're talking to mortgage coaches, any other ideas or strategies that you think might be helpful? Oh, gosh, let's see here. So, um, well, I, I think since we're talking about TRID, uh, I talk to a lot of loan officers, and um, they really are kind of letting their companies take this and run with it, which obviously this is on more of a corporate level. But I would say invest the time to really understand uh, the metrics of the timing with regard to trade and the disclosures um, because this really becomes a time management rule so again if we're incorporating that into our personal practices then um, our clients will you know not be caught off guard and those close of escrows will be closed on time and then two just spend some time really reviewing that loan estimate and that closing disclosure I actually think that they're fantastic documents I'm very excited about using those as opposed to the good faith estimate and the truth and lending statement so if you haven't done so uh, I don't know what the countdown is now I think it's about 32 days or something like that before uh, TRID takes effect but just invest a few minutes to really get up to speed on those particular disclosures right on great advice so by the way Kelly I, I just went through some of the questions uh, a number of people want to know how do you get the videos you know out you know are you emailing those are you recommending them kind of one at a time you know kind of like your doctor having a meeting and you prescribe a video what are the different ways that you're promoting these to both realtors and families? So the videos that you're seeing on YouTube are all directed towards the real estate community. And so those we send out through constant contact. And we generally will send a video every week with something that's going on in the mortgage world. Fantastic. So everybody, you know that I'm a big fan of that. You know, our, our friends over at the uh, RE, um, RE Real Estate Source, the RE Source, uh, Ryan Hills and RC create just an amazing weekly video. So that's another great example of a, a one percenter, a mortgage professional that's creating videos that are incredibly educational. And they have the same rhythm once a week. So, so it's kind of like a show. Is it kind of like this is the weekly, you know, Kelly Zitlow lending show for realtors? Or, you know, what's, what's you know, people can watch it and see but what is your vision behind that? What are you trying to accomplish there? I try to keep it short and sweet and really chunk down whatever it is that I'm trying to communicate. So I think that those are the two key elements that I focus on when I'm shooting videos uh, directed towards the real estate community. So what do they need to know? How does it impact their business? And can I say it efficiently and clear within you know less than two minutes max? So I rarely go over two minutes. Great. So. So that's your formula, less than two minutes. You're promoting it through constant contact. And then I'm sure you're, you're you know, just like you, you did just now, I'm asking you what's the one video. You are prescribing that within the sales process when it makes sense. Is that right? Right. Okay. So if you have more questions, let us know. Uh, another mortgage coach educational experience I want to drive before we wrap up today's call. I want to I push everybody to make sure that you're pulling out your mobile device when you're meeting with a realtor and you're, you're sharing stories and you're sharing strategies. So, you know, we've updated our co-branded mortgage experiences. Make sure you have those loaded in your mobile phones so that when you are, or your, whether it's a mobile phone or an iPad. By the way, Kelly, do you have a, an iPad? I do. And do you use that at all when you're talking to realtors? Not yet. Is that, I mean, I'm not putting you on the spot. You can say, Dave, it's yes, not a plan. Yes, it's okay. coming. My goodness. Constant right. with you, isn't it? Yes. It, it is. It is. It's never, never ending. I'll get there, Dave. Never. I'll get there. I promise. All right. All right. I can't wait to. We'll do a call on how you're having those conversations. But 
at the end of the day, families are going out to open houses, and whether they were driven there from a mobile device or whether they're just looking at the prices with their mobile device, when they walk into an open house, it's great to have that on display on a mobile device. So just a reminder, we have updated the Mortgage Coach open house experience so that you can just forward that link to your realtor, and now your realtor can have that on display with their iPads, iPhones, you know, Android devices, whatever, whatever they're using. So Kelly, we are we're going to wrap up today's call and look for any last minute questions that anybody has. So I, I if you have a question for Kelly, uh, put it in uh, go to meeting ASAP because we are going to go into wrap up mode. Kelly, any anything any other wisdom for mortgage coach members? Just do it. Yeah, right. It's Let's easy. just leave it. At just do it. All right. So hey, thank you so much for taking time to prepare. By the way, I see that my team was able to do this uh, in GoToMeeting under Handouts. We have posted a, um, a Mortgage Coach video checklist, so a checklist to help you as you're recording videos. But again, keep an eye out. We're going to be unpacking a host of new, new things for everybody to help them um, as TRID comes to market. Also, be sure to watch this video that I created a couple weeks ago how to be the obvious choice of the realtors, and share this with other you know, loan officers that you think would be interested in being a mortgage coach. And my last reminder, make sure everybody shows up for the Dave Ramsey uh, webinar this Wednesday. So Kelly, have an awesome day. Look forward to the next time I interview on a mortgage coach call. And thanks again. Absolutely. Thanks, Dave. Take care, everybody.